free Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. Boy, have I got an awesome, awesome, awesome guitar for you today. This one, look how beautiful that guitar is, that curly maple top. Okay, I'm sorry. What we have today is a 1977 Ibanez Model 24200 Les Paul Custom. Now this guitar is, we've gotten quite a few Les Paul um, uh, lawsuit guitars from our, our finder down in Virginia. This one came from him as well. Thank you, Bill. Um, but never have I gotten one that was this pretty. I mean, I have to say this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's got a, a, a really curly maple top. Uh, it looks like it's a maple back and sides. It's a two-ply uh, uh, body that they put together. Then, of course, it's got the belly curve on it. Got a rock-hard maple neck on it. And uh, every, just about everything on here was original. Uh, let me go through what isn't original, and then we'll go over what is. Uh, the knobs were incorrect that was on it. Uh, I had some reproduction knobs that I've been saving for these guitars. They look just like the sure grip knobs that, uh, that came on these guitars. Uh, someone is making them and I'm happy to have them because usually you have a, a mixed bag of, of knobs that because they've broken and fallen off over the years. These look like they belong on there. So these are not original. However, they look just like the sure grip knobs that would have been on it. Now, the other thing is not original. And this is really an interesting story. Uh, it had uh, the wrong tailpiece on it. It had, I mean, here's this gorgeous guitar in gold and it had a chrome tailpiece on it and it looked like it came from a regular uh, made in, 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 in uh, overseas uh, 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 Les Paul guitar, just a regular stop tailpiece that you'd see on just a very inexpensive guitar. I'm looking at that and going, no, 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 that, no, that will not work. So I got a hold of my guy and I says, where in the world can I find the real tailpiece? He says, well, they're pretty hard to find, uh, but uh, there is one guy out there that has some parts and I contacted him and not only did he have the part, he had the new old stock still in the cardboard with the plastic on it part. And he says, I have one and I go, I'll take it. And he sent this to me. This is brand new, new old stock, this tailpiece. This is the tailpiece that would have been on the guitar, by the way, this fancy gold one. It's got the, the original studs that came with it and the whole package came. So I was able to replace everything in there with gold as it should have been. And now the guitar is complete. Uh, knobs now look great. Tailpiece looks great. From there, it's all original. Uh, it's got the original Super 80s uh, gold humbuckers, which are super, super hot. I mean, these pickups, like, uh, turn the amp down, would you? They're killing me here. They're, they're so loud. They're just very, very strong, very, very musical. Uh, it's got the, uh, the custom uh, truss rod cover on it, the fancy Ibanez uh, headstock. Now, this has got this wood overlay on it. When I got it, it's like, oh, man, that's cool. Uh, it, it, I hope it shows up in our pictures, but uh, it's a wood grain look. Uh, I'm sure it's some kind of wood and then it's been, been sprayed over. Uh, it's got the inlaid Ibanez and the crown on it. And then uh, this uh, laid into that wood and then sprayed over the top of that. And it's very high end looking and just beautiful. On the back, We've got the Star uh, Ibanez tuners. It has the Super 80s uh, sticker on the back of the, of the headstock, which I hadn't seen before, which speaks to the pickups on it. It's got uh, our, our truss rod cover, which uh, enabled us to uh, date it from the serial number. Original um, covers, uh, I, I can't speak to the straps. That looks like it may not be original, but they do match. So maybe those are original, I, w I don't know. I would have thought they'd be gold, but they're black and they look newer, so I would say those probably had been replaced. But I'll tell you what, we had our tech set it up and it just... It's so fast. I mean, this is really a fast neck. We've got it set super, super low. If anything, you're probably going to want to raise it. Uh, and they just, uh, my tech just did a great job setting it up. Uh, we uh, worked on the nut just a little bit. It, it uh, needed a little shaping and uh, I, I don't think he took it down at all. No, it doesn't feel like he did, but he did shape it a little bit. It was, it was looking a little it needed some help, so we, we shaped it and made it look a little nicer, set it up, uh, intonated it, and uh, it just, it's great. Now, the other thing that they, uh, I found in the catalog on, on this guitar was uh, the the uh, fretboard looked very, very dark. At first, I thought it might have even been ebony, but you can see on the side here that it's not. Uh, it is rosewood, but they did a process called ebonized uh, rosewood, which they basically just 
sprayed it black <laughs> and made it look very, very dark, uh, very dark stain. So you would mistake it to be ebony when you look at it. It just, it's absolutely beautiful. The frets are in wonderful shape. There's a little bit of pitting on them, not bad at all. They're big frets. They're not small frets like you'd see on some of the uh, lawsuit guitars. Uh, they're nice and big. The only thing that I would point out is it drove me crazy. We didn't have a pick guard on it. I thought about having one made and I thought, you know what? I don't even like the pick guard on this guitar. I, I like all this showing uh, on the front. So I did fill the holes. Uh, it, it'd be no problem for you to just to re-drill them out. Uh, what I didn't want to do is drill new holes for a, a, another pick guard. So I just left the pick guard off. I'll let your new owner uh, decide to do that. Uh, what else can I tell you? It's got nine ply bindings on here. I mean, these bindings. Oh, that's the other thing. The back binding on here, it is, is, is wood. I mean, well, I don't know if it's real wood, but it sure looks like wood. So it goes wood, then black and white and black and white and black and white. So you've got this really cool uh, wood binding on the neck and the body, which is fully bound with this nine ply binding. It is finished in nitro, so it, it's not a poly finish at all. So uh, you will, I'm surprised I'm not seeing any finish crazing on it, probably because they spray them pretty heavy. Um, so at least it's not splitting, um, the finish splitting on you, but sometimes these will craze a little more than this one is. It's probably been kept in its case a long time. Uh, 24 and three quarter inch scale neck, nut is one and three quarters wide. Uh, what else? I guess that was about it that I wanted to tell you about. Let's hear how she sounds. Uh, I'm on the neck pickup and it's just, it just sounds so great. <laughs> Let's put the two together, way all the way up here. all the way back. guitar. This thing plays great. It looks great. Uh, you don't see these around. I mean, it's the first time I've seen one with this really curly maple top. Uh, flamey as heck. I mean, this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and it's it just, it plays wonderfully. Now, I will tell you, I also have the original case for it. Um, we identify these, of course, as the original cases. We know what they look like from Japan. And uh, this one is no... Uh, um, 
This one is also original. Oh, I forgot about that. I'll tell you in just a minute. Uh, these are not the highest quality cases, but you want to have your original case uh, with the guitar. Now, what I tell everybody is when you get this, take your case, put it under the bed, and then go buy a you know $100 Les Paul case or, or a gig bag or something to travel with your guitar in, uh, because these cases are very rare. They're getting harder and harder to find, uh, and they just they weren't made so well that they just they just aren't around. You know, they're not like a stone case or a, a lifting case. Those, they were made to go through earthquakes. These cases, not so much. However, when you have the original case, it makes your guitar more valuable. So protect your cases. Now it does have the accessory box. It doesn't have the little thing on there that uh, pulls it up. This reminded me, uh, oh, okay, here's what we did. We did replace the uh, uh, jack. Uh, the jack was old. There was one pot that was uh, not responding well, so we replaced that with a switchcraft. And oh yeah, we did have to replace the switch. So you got a switchcraft switch in there, but we kept all your parts in here. So there's your original parts, which you want to keep with your guitar. And look at this. This is something you don't see every day. When I open this case, I go, oh my. Ibanez limited lifetime warranty. And then you open this thing up and you go, holy cow, model 2420. What did I call it? I called it a 24200. It's a 2420. Sorry about that. Um, there's a serial number. Uh, so we know that this goes with that guitar. It's not like I just pulled a, a card and stuck it in the case. This came with that guitar. Uh, this is a hang tag that would have been hanging on there. It doesn't have the little string, but it's been quality uh, inspected by uh, some Japanese guy's name <laughs> uh, here. It's been signed. I mean, you just don't see these. I mean, uh, this is the first time I've had a hang tag like this for Ibanez. So very, very, very valuable. Keep this with your guitar. So you get this unbelievable case that uh, that's, you know, made it through all the centuries. You've got your original hang tag and this incredible Ibanez model 2420 Les Paul custom guitar with a curly maple top. It's beautiful. It plays great. You will love it when you get it. So check in and all of our really cool guitars out at www.lawmanguitars.com. We got some really awesome guitars right now. We've been on a buying binge and uh, we've uh, kept our techs busy uh, getting these guitars ready for you. So be sure to go check them all out. But the other thing you can do while you're here in my YouTube channel, let's hit subscribe. You know what? We've had a ton of subscribers. We're really happy about that because every week when you're a subscriber, you'll see another Lawman Guitars. We're doing five of these. So over the next uh, five weeks or the four weeks after you look at this one, you'll get another cool guitar that we did today and they just continue. I'll, I'll keep doing these until I run out of guitars, which I hope will be never. And uh, I'll keep buying and, and finding cool guitars for you guys. So hit subscribe. You can see a new guitar every week from Lawman Guitars. So check out our guitars. Hit subscribe and I really, really appreciate you watching my demo today. Thank you so very much.